Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video here on Past Teacher Games. It's an absolute pleasure to have you very much. This is the post screening review, first thoughts, impressions of Rise of Skywalker. If you watched the previous video, it'll be linked up here somewhere, probably in the corner. Uh, that actually was my thoughts about the series so far up in me. And it was a short little kind of like question myself, as well as the expectations I might have had for what was going to be shown in Rise of Skywalker. So. Let's not, let, let's not go over stuff from episodes uh, 7, 8, and now on just like about 9. Uh, Rise of Skywalker is a Star Wars movie in every way, shape, or form that you could ever want to expect. With the caveat that my experience of watching it tonight really felt like this was a Disney Star Wars movie and the design that they... It's managed by committee, written by committee try and hit every single beat that the raging end of the YouTube and the rest of the internet have actually had about The Last Jedi. Um, the, the, from the minimizing of roles to the maximizing of events to the relating of things that actually were covered in both of the previous movies, they have tried very specifically to um, port an audience that wants, wanted big differences from their um, the previous film. The um, Last Jedi informs this movie in so many ways that actually like what they didn't do and things that they brought back. And I would be very surprised if this didn't go through um a extensive series of rewrites after some real life events and the events of the reaction to the previous film. Uh I'm not a massive JJ Abrams fan. Um, just in general, I've, I've always hated the J.J. Abrams mystic box, magic box, magic, mystical box, the mystery box method of uh, filmmaking and promotion. And I think the the wave away and explanations for things that actually happened in Last Jedi and in uh, Force Awakens comes to its head in the same way that any story that tries to bulb out the events and then has to tie it together at the end and finds that they do have to tie it together so that they can close off uh, ab plot hole avenues and anything else. There's... The movie's not bad. And in any way, shape, or form. I'll state it that up, right, up front. It's, it, somebody asked me as soon as I walked out of the theatre what my what I thought of it. And my reaction was, um... Well... Yeah. Okay. And that's, that's my progression throughout the film. There's a couple of moments that actually really stood out to me, uh, which I'll not talk about. I'll, I'll keep this spoiler free as much as possible. But um, from the moment you have your opening crawl and the Star Wars theme kicks in, I, it, it felt like I was watching any typical Star Wars. People have said The Mandalorian plays it safe. It's designed in the way the plotting of it goes. And I honestly think that that theme, um, safety, has actually really applied into the ninth movie as well but the entire film actually feels like uh, a tying up of ends in a lot of ways that they wanted it to be oh it's going to catch you off guard and it really wasn't uh, like, uh, everything that paid, was set up was paid off in a manner that actually required it to although the, it, to do so required some massive leaps of character that I, I feel like would be filled in by events between episodes uh, 8 and 9 that's 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 the real kind of like um feeling i got the moment i started watching rise of, the, rise of skywalker and had the opening crawl started i was like wow they really it really is the events in between that lead us to where we are now this is the final it feels like it's the final act but not just in the final act it feels like it's the final act of another movie that we didn't get to watch and that kind of ties into my experience of watching is that it was it was experientially a much shorter movie than what i thought it was going to be um, I would literally look at the clock whenever I was finished, going like, oh, wait, we're done? Okay. Well, I mean, the, the, the story ties itself to an end, so that all makes sense. But, um, Rise of the Skywalker will surprise you in a few ways, and it will not surprise you in others. Uh, specifically in character motivation and changes and plans and reveals that are all... They're all very, very easy. They're like, it, it, nothing, actually, the biggest surprise I had in this movie was a red herring. And that was actually, yeah, like that, that was an effective, effective use of a red herring. 
whenever you're watching the movie. I'm, I'm not even going to say like when in the movie it is because that and it signifies what it is. So at least let you guys who are actually watching it, I haven't seen the movie yet, keep on guessing. But there was um, a few scenes. Anything that actually I remember from the trailer was definitely there. And any of those events, feelings, and their, the beats that they were all related to. Just felt, we're entertaining to see. A lot of the, the design for this movie is actually fantastic. It hasn't, the, 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 these movies haven't failed in their design in any way. And I'm just glad that they, the number of locations and the expansiveness of the universe has been very well expressed. And the unique locations uh, throughout the film really try, really just tries your patience for like, where are we now? Did, did, did I lose the name of this place? I, I probably did. I, it doesn't matter. But um, the set pieces that we see in the trailer that uh, haven't that obviously been revealed, uh, the, the Kylo versus Grey fight, uh, where they're soaking wet and crashing waves all around them, it is locationally super well done. It's a very good beat in the entire movie. But I didn't feel connected to the characters quite so much. Um, I will admit, the, with the soaring soundtrack and with the uh, pacing of the moments and timing, there was a couple of moments, a couple of times where I uh, felt that well up in me and actually like uh, wanted to shed a tear, uh, which is, it, it, the movie's evocative, it actually will, it will make you emote feelings quite nicely if you, even if you don't really care, the characters are actually well, the, the actors portray the characters well enough around it that you actually get an experience. And whenever I say this all, the entire movie is an experience. It is a Star Wars movie that could have been anything other than Star Wars, but just happened to be Star Wars and would have carried itself perfectly grand. If you have been following the entire length of all the movies and all the science and all the arguments that go along with them, the movie's good. It, 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 if I was to give it a review, um, one, uh, like one thumbs up and one kind of like sitting there in the middle going like, yeah, there's times where it felt like it dragged on or uh, beats didn't feel like they actually had value there's a comedy in the film that actually um, was well appreciated but some of the lines fall flat uh, other lines are funnier than you expected them and to be honest it's the creatures and the world that bring the most joy to it which is something that actually like, I always accepted and loved about Star Wars that there's good long portions or entire sections of the movie that you don't understand because it's being said in another language unless somebody like c was nearby to actually translate for you and good characters are actually like a design and a pacing of the dialogue doesn't matter what they say it can be entertaining itself and um they there is going to be uh characters that you'll fall in love with in this movie just because of their designs and their moments in the sun but it's definitely in the range that there's characters that they want to make into action figures <laughs> that rather than actually like characters that are just there and will probably get made into action figures anyway all the ones that are in the background but yeah that's that's my review of rise of, rise of the skywalker enjoy it um it was an interesting so uh check it out for yourselves and i will see all you dudes in another video bye